Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Haru and Tanu. Today's video is about outdoor plants with flowers. All the plants shown in this video are easy to care and propagate. The first plant that I'm going to show here is the ram goat dash along. These plants have got beautiful yellow flowers and it's very easy to propagate. Propagation can be made through seeds or by stem cuttings. This plant is found to be a natural remedy for anxiety, nervous exhaustion and depression. They require full sun exposure and has evergreen foliage. This plant is attractive to bees, butterflies and birds. They bloom repeatedly throughout the year and has got this bright yellow color flowers. The second plant is the hibiscus. We have got a big hibiscus plant in our garden. Propagation is done through stem cuttings and also the dried hibiscus is edible. Hibiscus flowers can be used to make juices and the leaves can be used to make herbal shampoos. I have shared a video on this, link will be given in the description box below, please check that out. This is a yellow misanda that we have got from a nursery. The yellow misanda is planted next to the hibiscus plant. We have got yellow, white and red misanda in our garden. beautiful red flowers in a hibiscus plant. The next plant is the grape jasmine. They require full sun or partial shade and also require regular irrigation to keep the soil moist. Once the root systems are well established, they require less water. This is a hanging plant with beautiful white flowers. You can either hang it in a hanging pot or plant it normally as I've done here. Next plant is the Ixora or the West Indian Jasmine. These plants have got beautiful large clusters of tiny flowers in the summer. Flowers have got a lot of health benefits. I have already shared a video on how to prepare baby oil using these flowers. The link will be shared in the description box below. Please check that out. We have got the yellow, red, pink, the baby pink colors of Ixora in our garden. The next is the blue wings or the wishbone flower. The visiting bees break that wishbone while pollinating and the name blue wings refers to the common blue purple tips on the certain hues of the petals. Propagation can be done through seeds. The next plant is the sunset bells. During spring to summer the plant blooms with orange red flowers. The leaves are large and dark green with brown touch and very ornamental. They grow well in normal moist garden soil. The next plant is a white wind flower. These plants are able to grow in partially shaded or sunny parts of the garden that have good drainage. 
You can sow the seeds in either spring or autumn and likely cover the seeds once sown. The next plant is a Bacillaceae. It's commonly seen that the stems die back over the winter, but the roots don't. That means that the plant can regenerate the next year. They are the pink beauties in my garden. These plants need regular watering. You need to keep them moist but not wet. The next plant is a Britain's wild petunia. These plants are aggressive growers and spread both by seeds and by roots. The newly planted petunias need evenly moist soil for the first few weeks after planting. These are the other hibiscus plants that I have in my garden. The pink hibiscus, the yellow hibiscus and the red one I have shown before. These are the other colors of Ixora plant that I have in my garden. These are the baby pink Ixoras. The next plant is a dwarf white orchid tree. The trees propagate from seeds and you can see the beautiful five petal flowers. The next plant is a moss rose or the table rose. These plants grow just four to six inch tall. Table roses can be grown as borders, containers, greenhouse and indoor plants. The color and the density of the flowers make them attractive. You can plant table roses in small containers and these plants can be kept indoors. See the beautiful yellow, pink, white red colors of table roses. They look really attractive. This plant is a sleeping hibiscus. They are named so because of its flowers which looks unopened. Propagation can be made through stem cuttings. I will do a detailed video about the propagation of hibiscus plants very soon. This is the white musanda that I have in my garden. I have already shown the yellow musanda and the red musanda that we have in our garden. I got this plant from a nursery nearby. Now this has grown really big. The next 
plant I have is the common lantana. These plants are hardy and ornamental. Propagation can be done through stem cuttings. They have beautiful small flowers in different colors. However, I just have this one in my garden. The next plant is the Malabar Falls Ranthamum. These are woody plants about 2 feet tall. Propagation can be done through stem cuttings, preferably during the monsoon season. The last plant that I am going to show here is the Flame Violet. They are adorable small house plants that offer attractive foliage and charming little red flowers. In this video, I have shared few of the flowering plants that I have in my garden. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Keep watching. Hadu and Tanu. Bye.